Hi, this is um Diary of Wimpy Kid the Third Wheel, Part Three out of Four. Oh, I have to go a little bit more fast because um just I'm not all the way through the book and I'm only on page forty four. So. This morning after I woke up, I lay in bed for a while trying to get back to sleep. Eventually, I just went downstairs and made myself some breakfast. There was nothing good on TV before 8 o'clock on Saturday morning, so I decided to get some of my chores over with. Me and Roderick never have enough money to buy anything, so Mom has been paying us an allowance to do chores. All my chores is dusting a the dining room for the friend. That's what I was doing this morning when I heard a knock on the front door. I opened the door and I was surprised to see Uncle Gary standing on the front steps. Dad came downstairs and met my and he didn't seem too happy to see his mom, younger brother. A few weeks back, Uncle Gary called Dad and said he has a once in a lifetime business opportunity and need a loan. Dad didn't want to give Uncle Gary any money because Uncle Gary has a bad track record when it comes to paying people back. But Mom told Dad sh he should do it because Uncle Gary is his brother and family members should always help each other out. Mom's always saying the same sort of thing to me and Roderick. I just never hope I never need it kidney or something like that because if Roderick is the guy I'm counting on to give it to me, I could be in trouble. I sent Uncle Gary the money and we hadn't heard from him until today. Uh, after Uncle Gary came inside the house, he told us what happened. He said he met a guy in Boston who sold t-shirts on the street corner and this guy told him if he wants to take over his business, he can make a bundle. So after he got money from Dad, Uncle Gary bought us the guy's t-shirts. But what Uncle Gary didn't know was that the t-shirts had a typo on them. And by the time he noticed the problem, the guy was already gone. Uncle Gary told Dad he needs a place to stay until he can get on his feet again. Dad didn't seem too happy about that, because by, but by then Mom was out to there and she told Uncle Gary that he can stay as long as he needs. But when Mom saw the moving van in the driveway, she told Uncle Gary we didn't really have any room for extra furniture. He said he didn't need to worry because he didn't have any furniture. The moving van was filled with boxes of t-shirts, which we spent the rest of the morning loading into our garage. I don't think Uncle Gary's getting up on selling them either. He unloaded one of one on Roderick for three bucks and I think Roderick feels like he got a steal. Living with Uncle Gary hasn't been easy on his first few nights in the house he slept on the air mattress in Manny's room. But Uncle Gary has these nightmares that wake him up in the middle of the night and last Monday he really had a bad one. <laughs> So now Uncle Gary's sleeping on the couch in the family room and Manny's bed is in the middle of his room away from the walls. It's really inconvenient that Uncle Gary sleeping on the couch. His bad dreams keep him all night he keep him up all night and then he sleeps through most of the day. That really stinks when he just can't want to relax after school and watch some T V. The person who's and the fact is the most by Uncle Gary is Roderick, though. Before Uncle Gary moved in, Roderick practically lived on the couch in the family room, especially on the weekends. Now Roderick doesn't have anywhere to go, and Dad gets him out of bed in the basement on Saturday mornings. The other day, Roderick came upstairs, and when he saw Uncle Gary in the spot, he just slept on another part of the couch. Dad has really been nagging Uncle Gary about finding a job, but Uncle Gary says he's trying no one's hiring. Uncle Gary has never held on a job in more than a few days. The last one he had was over summer when he worked as a desk subject for a company he made pepper spray. I'm sure he's heard 
he could perform lunch. Then wants Uncle Gary to get a job like he has, where you work in the office and have regular hours. Now I'm feeling Uncle Gary is cut off for an office job, not not so too short either. I am. Uh, Dad has to dress up for work every day in the shirt and the tie. He has to wear dress shoes and red dress socks too. I've already decided that when I grow up. I'm going to have a fine job where you don't need to wear the socks that go up to your knees. Last summer, Dad brought me to bring your child to work day as office, but people at Dad's work must have realized their jobs would be boring to kids, so they brought all sorts of entertainment. Okay, that's, that's the end of part three. On part four, it's going to be for about 42 minutes. So, um, I'm going to put multiple videos in there. Is that okay? Okay. Bye.